But there is history in 2008. For the first time ever, a sophomore has won the Zoman. Everett Golson from Myrtle Beach High School, the 2008 Zoman winner. And the Zoman is staying in Myrtle Beach. Everett Golson is the 2009 Zoman winner. For the past two years, Everett Golson has been the dominant force in area high school football. And with that, the Myrtle Beach quarterback brought home two WPDE Zoman trophies. The accolades kept rolling in during his senior campaign, a spot in the Shrine Bowl, and being named a finalist for South Carolina Mr. Football. But what was supposed to be a third WPDE Zoman trophy changed in week two of the regular season. Golson would go on to miss eight plus weeks with an injured wrist and leg as a result of injuries suffered in the Seahawks' loss to Burns. The Zoman ballots are collected after week 10, and with just nine quarters of playing time, there was a dilemma. How do you vote for one of the best players in our area's history on just over two games of a 10 game season? In a classy move, Everett Golson removed himself from consideration for the Zoman trophy. He realized that uh, he probably wasn't, wasn't going to win, and he wanted his teammates, Daquan Ford or Mitch Campbell, to have that opportunity, and maybe even some other guys, Dante Sumter. And, you know, so I, he kind of just pulled himself out of the race and, and allowed those guys to, to have a chance to, you know, to, to get some votes and, and, and be on the podium. For the past 11 years, the Zoman has symbolized excellence in high school football, and Everett Golson always has and always will be a part of that legacy. You know, like I always said, uh, I felt like, you know, it's not only an individual award, but, you know, a team award also. Uh, you know, I feel like Mitch, you know, really realized that also. You know, he couldn't do it without his old lineman and the wide receiver. So just being in that clan, you know, for me is, you know, is, is a complete honor. He's just a great person on, on top of being a great player. And, you know, it, he's, he's so special to our school and our football program. And, you know, uh, I think when he does walk across the stage, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably cry. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're, we're excited for him. He's going to have a great college career and, and a chance to play in the league one day. And so, you know, he's just been a great representative for Murray Beach High School. During his junior year, Golson gave a verbal commitment to play for Butch Davis in the University of North Carolina. But with NCAA sanctions looming in Chapel Hill, Golson reopened his recruiting. Everett Golson is heading to South Bend to play for the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. You know, it's numerous things that I, you know, liked about Notre Dame. Uh, one being, you know, their academics. Uh, you know, you go, you go to Notre Dame, you know, you kind of, you know, set for life. But, uh, you know, the other things such as the offense and uh, also the relationship that they kind of build there, um, they, they, I say they really kind of focus on that a lot. So those are three things that kind of, kind of, that I like about Notre Dame.